Hi friends, Mike DeMora, NCEP, the National College of Exercise Professionals, where we are here to keep trainers training. Yep, that's it. Each week, I do a blog on what is going on in the training world, and I get questions asked all the time from different trainers who are going through different issues. And I have some personal coaching clients that I train through, you know, that I work with trainers to keep them successful. And I keep asking them, what is the biggest thing going on in fitness and what can we, what can we address? So the number one concern that trainers have is to keep training. In other words, they can't keep their business going. Is that true with you as well? Are you having problems keeping your training business open? Now look, if you live in Los Angeles, I truly understand because our gyms have been closed for so long, it is truly, char truly challenging. So you probably had to pivot and go to an online system. But what about you? What about the rest of you? Are you still training people? And if not, why not? There's never been a bigger need in the history of America than for people that need training. We are the fattest, sickest, ugliest nation in the world. We need help. So what's going on? So let me, let me go over a few things with you. So if you've been following us for the last 10, 12 weeks, each week I come out with a different, different video. And here's, here's one of the videos that we came up with. So what I want to make sure that you understand is if you watch some of the old videos, have you found your why? Have you found your why? Your why is, why is it that you became a trainer? What is it that makes you want to be a trainer? What is it that gives you that special something? Remember, you are the best you that you can be. No one else can be you. So don't try to be anyone else as well. Take your story, take your mess and make it your message. So what I mean by that is let's say, let's use overweight. Let's say you were 50 pounds overweight and now you've been able to take off the weight, adapt a healthy lifestyle. And now you're 50 pounds lighter. Well, that was your mess. Your mess was that you were 50 pounds heavy. Now you're 50 pounds lighter. That can be your message. That can be your beacon. That can be the signal that you give to everyone. You are looking for clients that are looking to lose 25, 30, 50, 100 pounds, and you are the expert. So have you started to use that message in your, in your advertising? Have you started to use that message in your marketing? By the way, what is your marketing? What is your advertising? What I want to do is go over the, the top, the number one, the number three steps that you need to do to be successful. The first thing that you need to do is you need to, once again, you need to find your why. Once you find your why, you need to what? Create your message. Once you have your message, you have to what? Send it out to the public. So when you talk about sending it out to the public, that's what we call branding or that's what we call marketing. What do you do currently? Do you have a Facebook? Do you have a Facebook page? Do you have an Instagram page? Are you in social media? Unfortunately, in today's world, you pretty much have to be. You know, back 10, 15 years ago, if you had a website, that was your calling. But now, you don't even really need a website. It wouldn't be bad to get a landing page, but you really don't even need a website. You just really need to work on your social media and then a landing page. Now, if these are terms that you're not quite sure of, I wanna go over some of these things with you. Here's how it works. Here's how marketing in general, marketing 101 works. You create an ad in a social media venue. I suggest Facebook and or Instagram. The reason I say and or is because you know that they're owned by the same person, it's the same company. When you do one ad, they can actually go through both platforms. So I really strongly believe you do Facebook and or Instagram. With that said, you create an ad. How do you create an ad? Pretty simple. Google, how do I create a Facebook ad? They'll go over all the steps with you. Pretty simple. With that said, now you send out an ad. Now this ad at the end has a call to action. The call to action is usually learn more or, or sign up or do whatever that you need. It's a call to action, a little button. That clicks and when it goes, it lands on a landing page. Okay, so what is a landing page? Traditionally, we used a website. Traditionally, we would have them go to our website and the website would have multiple pages. But do you understand how confusing that is? 
it's really confusing to send them to, uh, to your website and then they have to look through all the different things. What do I click on? What do I look for? In today's world, in today's world, you have 0.7 seconds, 0.7 seconds to capture their attention. 0.7 seconds from the time they click to whether they decide to leave from your page or they decide to stay and, and take up some of your content. So once again, I strongly believe in you should have a landing page. Now this landing page should what? Should actually capture their email. This is so unbelievably important. So you click on the call to action and you land on a landing page. That landing page should just have something that you're going to give them. Some people call it a tripwire. Some people give, call it, there's so many different names for it, but basically you need to give them something for free to get their email. Okay. So what are you going to give for free? Whether it be a free report, whether it be a free video, whether it be a free course, whether it be free something, you need to give them something for free to get their, to get their email address. Once you have their email address, what's the next step? The next step is an email sequence. Do you know anything about email sequences? First off, do you have an email provider? An email provider is something where when they land and you capture their email, it goes into a list. Now with that list, it triggers an automatic email. So the minute they put their name in, they hit send, they get their free gift and you get their email. Now you create an email sequence. Typically your email sequence is going to be about 10 emails. The first five should introduce your offer, right? Your offer. What is your offer going to be? What do you want to offer them? Typically there'd be a, if you're a trainer, you're going to want to start with some introductory package, three sessions for $99, something that is much less than your typical rate, because what you want to do is you want to, get them interested in what it is that you do. And you should know that if you train them once, twice, three times, and you're any good at what you do, they will want to continue. So I know I just went over a lot of stuff. So what I do want to do is I want to rewind and make sure we got it. Okay. First, you need to start a Facebook and Instagram platform, right? Next, you want to send out an ad. This ad can be as simple as, Hey, do you want a trainer? You need to, you know, click on this button to learn more or, or, Hey, here's 10, 10 simple ways to lose, to lose weight. Click on this button to receive it. Anything that is going to get them to click off the page. It's called what we call a pattern interrupt. It's something that needs to be, I don't know, as, as jazzy to get them stop scrolling on their, what they've been doing, right? So if they're on their Facebook feed and they look through, they're going to have an ad and that ad has to be catchy enough for them to click over and want to learn more. So with that said, it needs to go to a landing page. Now this landing page needs to capture what it needs to capture their email. So you need to give them something for free and they give you their email in exchange. Now, once you get their email, you need to create a 10 email sequence. That is what they call dripped to them. In other words, it goes out automatically over 10 days. The first five days you present who you are. You give them as much cool information as you possibly can. You introduce them to who you are and what it is that you do and why you are special. Okay. That goes back to what? your message again. You should always be consistent with your message. Now, after the first five and you give that special offer, now you want to do your countdown sequence. You want to tell them that there's only what five days left, or they won't be able to get that special offer of three sessions for $99. So the first one's, Hey, there's only a few days left. You should really sign up for this three for 99 next day is, Hey, really not much time left three sessions for $99. Here's why you need to do it. The other thing you may want to add is what they call social proof. Social proof means you take others that have taken advantage of that offer, three sessions for $99, 
and you want to have them say positive things about what it is that they received when they took up that offer. So what I mean by that is, of course, well, let's say you trained Julie. Julie loved it. She lost 10 pounds and she's, she's changed her life and now she's on that, that path to becoming a healthy lifestyle and losing the weight that she's always wanted. So she's going to say that and you're going to say, look, if you don't believe me, listen to Julie. And then you put a little, little thing about Julie right in there in your email. And then people believe it more. In fact, what I even like to do is give a little uh, email of, of Julie and say, look, if you don't believe me, email Julie. Julie is a real person. Don't make stuff up. Don't make stuff up. Okay. You've got to be real. You've got to be authentic. You have to be truthful with these people, right? Because they, if not, they can read right through it. So anyway, you give them a countdown timer and you say, okay, hey, you only have a couple days left. You only have a couple days left. And then at the end of the time, done. Okay, now you have not offered them that anymore. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you start a whole nother email series. And this second email series is for something else. Sorry you missed the three for 99, but we have another offer, 10 for 1,000. So whatever your normal price is, now you keep throwing those back to them. The idea is that you want someone to either one, stay on your email list and become engaged or two, get off your email list because they're never going to buy. So you don't want to just have dead weight, so to speak, on your email list. You either want them to love you and want to buy stuff or you want them to leave. So you keep hammering them with emails. Now remember, you do it in the nicest way and you're always giving them content. You're always telling them anything that you learned that day or anything that you learned that week, you give them content. You say, oh, did you know, here are the top five things that personal trainers are helping with their clients. Here's the top five things that clients are eating to lose weight. Here's the top five exercises to, you know, to see your tricep more. Here's the top five, blah, blah, blah. And you just keep sending them content. And at the end of each content, you start to offer what? And by the way, I'm still here if you want to train with me. By the way, I'm still here if you want to train with me. Okay? And no, that is what we call marketing. That is what we call sending your message out there. So I hope that helped a little bit. Just want to give you one last thing. You know, we're starting a whole entire new program where for $17, we are offering everything in our our entire catalog of courses and help. And in fact, every Wednesday, every Wednesday, there's going to be a live weekly coaching call. So if you have any questions, you can always call in every Wednesday on our Zoom. You can find it in our, you can find it on our website and maybe I'll even have them, you know, put the Zoom link below. Every Wednesday, starting at noon, Pacific Standard Time here in Los Angeles, we will have a Zoom and a live coaching call. You come in, ask questions. The first 10 or 15 minutes will be some form of education, all free of charge, all part of that what? Part of that $17 a month. You can take any one of our courses. Currently, we have a full holistic nutrition certification. We have our standard certification. We have our online trainer certification, and we have a bunch of other little courses as well, all that can be used for CECs or all that can be used for your uh, learning and your whole entire development. And once again, we're doing this all for $17 a month. Stop at any time, no contracts. If we can't earn your business, we don't want your business. All right, well, I hope all is well with you. God bless.